Hi, this tutorial is about um, some great tips for using a free sound editing program Audacity which could be found from downloaded.com and um, let's see how we can actually put some nice effects on ringtones or some sounds. Before you use uh, Audacity make sure that you have the lame encoder in your computer installed you can make sure by going to edit menu and click on preferences then you need to go to file formats in the left bar and in the right side you should see mp3 export setup and you should see the mp3 library version you have if you don't have it on your computer you can download a free copy of flame from the internet and the um, button is as you can see is right here I'm gonna click cancel just so you know the version of audacity that I'm working on is the 1.3.3 beta and this is uh, also a unicode version so far I haven't found so many bugs on it so technically this is the latest version of audacity for Windows so far it's pretty good let's open an mp3 I'm going to open a pretty nice cute song of uh, Colby Kailiat and the album is um, Coco. The song is Bubbly. Here is my song as you can see. You can always zoom in using uh, one of these tools here. And you can also zoom out. I always like to start working on my sound from the regular the auto zooming and I stop at the point where I want to make any changes to for instance once you play it starts from the beginning I found my point right here and I'm going to make some changes Let's zoom in so we can get um, a better view of our sound here. And you can always click on it. That's how you have a um, start point for, your, for yourself. And if you press the play button, it plays the song right from there. I need to back up a little bit. I think I got my sound which should be somewhere around here there, there it is so I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna zoom out so it's easier for me to cut out the part that I'm gonna work on just drag it all the way to the to the point that you wanna start your music from and you can either click on edit and cut or copy or you can also use a keyboard shortcut such as control plus X or control plus C I'm going to use um, the the toolbar here, so it's uh, you can see what I'm doing, and I'm gonna copy it so I don't mess up my real song. And instead of making another file point here, I'm gonna open a whole new Audacity, and I'm going to paste my data in here. You can see it's nice and zoomed in pretty well you can zoom out a little just for the ease of work and start it from the beginning I don't think I need these parts so I'm gonna take it out just hit the delete button anywhere you wanna cut your song from and hit play button I have my sound pretty nice there's a cool uh, tip for you guys if you want to make a ringtone of any song you can always hit the shift button and you see this loop icon on your play button and if you click on it 
it it loops the song itself so it's easier for you to have um, have a ringtone without breaking any clip and uh, any pause for now it's okay for me so I'm gonna fade out the end part a little you select your part you go to effect you see you have already a lot of cool effects in here except a few many of them don't really have a good use so um, <coughs> you don't really need to mess up with them because you might end up having a having a bad quality sound or ringtone so just don't go somewhere you don't you don't you don't know about even if you make any mistake or screw something up you can always back up by hitting control plus Z or going to the edit menu and undo whatever you've done in here I'm just gonna click on fade out you see it's pretty cool and since I I think I'm gonna use this as a ringtone I'm gonna select my whole track and I'm gonna normalize it to something uh, louder just the same thing click on effect and click on normalize from the submenu and negative 3.0 DB is pretty cool. You can always have a preview of your song if you want to. Just so you know, the louder you make it, the more static or um, I don't know how to say this. Well, the, the worst sound you're going to have. So even though it'll be louder, it won't sound good. So it's always better to have something have a balance of the the pauses and uh, whatever it is I don't know <laughs> so I'm gonna have negative two couldn't have a preview decent and I'm gonna click on OK OK and I have my sound nice and cool you don't want to save the project then it'll save the sound as an um, audacity file you don't want to do that because you need an mp3 doesn't matter whatever you want to do you want to burn it into a CD you want to email it you want to have a ringtone out of it doesn't matter whatever you want to do you always want to export it that's where the lame comes in work if you don't have the lame version or the mp3 encoder on your computer it won't work there are a bunch um, of other mp3 encoders out there but lame is free that's why it's the best I guess I'm gonna export this file into a folder that I always work on and I'm gonna name it Colby underscore bubbly which refers to the sound so I don't get lost and it's it's um pretty small song it doesn't take too much too long but especially it depends on your computer how long would it take to um export a file or um, whatever file into mp3 so far we're done here and um, that's pretty much it some basic editing tips on audacity hope you learned something thank you for watching my video